use is my Mac Studio Fix Fluid with 15 SPF 15 um, in the shade WNW22. It's a beauty blender. I'm just gonna put it on my hand and put it all over my face. After I put on the foundation, I'm going to conceal with my River Long Color Stay 2-in-1 Contact Compact Makeup and Concealer. And this is in the color 180 Sand Beige. Do this with Sephora Foundation Brush. This doesn't really have a number. But yeah, I'm just gonna be applying the bottom one. So I'm just going to put it in my inner corner and do it in a mini triangle to conceal those dark circles and some redness on my cheek. I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in the just Mineral Veil and I'm going to apply this with the tip, like the smaller end of my Beauty Blender and I'm going to put this in all the spots that I concealed. So now I'm going to leave my face like this and we're going to get on to the eyes. Since I ran out of my eyebrow, usual eyebrow product, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade to Light Palette. And in the first lightest contour shade, I'm going to dip in a flat eyebrow brush and do my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm gonna use some, now with a Revlon Color Stay Concealer Stick, I'm, not stick, like liquid, I'm gonna put that under my eyebrow. And over. And I'm going to use my Sephora Angled Eyeshadow Brush. I don't know why, but I really like using this for blending concealer out.
So now with my eyes, I'm going to be using the Naked 3 palette. So first, what I'm going to use is... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get a little bit on the brush, the fluffy side brush that it came with. And I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. Now that I did put new in, I'm gonna put a little bit of Factory Mix Luxant on the same brush and do it more in the outer corner. Don't worry about the makeup, the eyeshadow getting like over here. So now that's pretty blended in, I'm gonna take a little bit of with a little bit of dark side with this flatter brush, and I'm gonna. Side of the eye, literally the inner corner. Here, I'm gonna take the dark side again and kind of blend it in there too. So it's kind of be gonna kind of be like. The center of the eyelid is where the main focus is. So to blend this all out, I'm gonna take Nooner. I'm gonna take Nooner again and just blend. I'm gonna take the Buxom Coley. This is a Buxom Coley. It's kind of like a gold pink with a pinky undertone. Then I'm gonna take a loose glittery pigment from forgot from L'Oreal, and it's in Tina. Zias, Tina Zias, don't know how to pronounce that. But. And I'm gonna put that on top of the buxom. And I'm gonna just spray my brush. I'm gonna just spray my brush with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix um, setting spray. So that the pigments will stay on. So I'm just going to get the one and put that on my brush and just pat it on to the middle of the lid. And I'm going to pat on as well. So as you can see it kind of mixed in with the inner crease, the inner line and the outer corner. So we'll go back and fix that later. But then I'm gonna put on the lid a little bit of the glitter pigment. It's more like a metallic glitter. And put that on top of the Minerals. We're going to go back in with dark side and blend that in. Once 
once I did that, I'm going to get a little brush and with the shade, with a little bit of that, I'm going to put that in my inner corner to highlight. Then with the other end the fluffy brush, I'm going to take a little bit of factory and I'm going to put that under my eye. Now that my eye is done, I'm going to take a little bit of my, then I'm going to take a little bit of my Revlon Color Stay in a darker shade. This is the first one I used for my eyebrows was in the shade 03 Light Medium, and in this one it is 05 Medium Deep. And this is just to kind of cut the eyeshadow to look, make it look really sharp. Eyes with my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm going to be using middle colors to highlight and contour. Then I'm going to take the pat of the color on top of it, like I said, and I'm going to put that under my eyes. Just kind of to clean up the um, any excess eyeshadow or glitter that fell off. And to set the concealer that we had put on to, next to the eyes. Now, with the um, first contour color. I'm going to take that and kind of bronze off my face. Next to contour my nose. So then for then for blush I'm going to use my MAC Love Joy Mineralize blush and yeah it's in the shade, shade Love Joy I'm going to get kind of like a stickling brush from Bare Minerals and put a little bit of that on to the brush because this is a very dark one so it kind of really warms up the face as you can tell I'm kind of going for like pinky colors I guess you could say so my camera's about to die so I really have to finish fast but then for highlight I'm just using the MAC soft and gentle mineralizing Skin finish highlighter. Because you know your highlight has to be on fleek. 
So I'm just using a e.l.f. fan brush and I'm contouring my, highlighting my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Then my cupid's bow. For my lips is this liner from CG Smoothers and I've never used this before but I thought it would really look good to the lip product I want to use. So I'm just going to line it with my lips. The liner glided on super smooth but um, so now I'm going to be using the Kat Von D liquid um everlasting liquid lipstick in the shade lolita and this is honestly my favorite liquid lipstick from her that collection so far <laughs> 